evening everyone and welcome back to another trip so I'm out in the road with Starlight 1 tonight and I'm sure you can gather where I am that's Edinburgh behind me so I'm back out in the Pentland Hills so I'm out for a solo camp tonight the weather has been a bit against me but as you can see it's uh, brightening up a wee bit but the walk up here was quite windy and wet so I didn't film much on the way up here and uh, setting up a tent well you can probably see around me the grass isn't the best and it was quite rocky there's some rocks just behind me there and uh, quite bumpy too so it's about half past five I left the car at three couple of walk up here but finally I don't know if you've noticed this or not, uh, but I've just recently got myself a new jacket. It's the Rab Electron. Um, I was really impressed with the Rab Ascend 900 sleeping bag. And in the last month or so, it's been on my mind that I really wanted a new jacket for the winter. So, this is it. Uh, really, really like this jacket. First impressions, of course, this is my first camp in it. It's, uh, it's kept me really warm. I've sat here for about 20 minutes. It's, between 5 and 10 degrees there's a right wind chill tonight especially being up high and uh, yeah I feel quite hot my hands are freezing though I've not got any gloves on anyway I'm going to jump in the tent now and uh, yeah I'm going to try this meal out it's my first time trying it out so looking forward to it Because of the wind tonight and the direction it is blowing, I'm having to cook inside the tent. So if you're cooking inside your tent with gas or any stove really, just make sure your tent's well ventilated and ensure that the ground that your your stove's on is uh, is flat and uh, suitable. Um, yeah, I keep lighting the stove and the wind blows it out so yeah, I don't like cooking in the tent, especially, I like having a view, eh, but unfortunately for tonight, the wind has been just a pain. So while the water boils, this is what I'm having tonight. Minced beef hot pot from Adventure Food. Like I said, it's for the first time I'm trying this, so I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> it sounds like the water is already boiled and it's only been in about a minute. That's the beauty of jet boil, they're really really quick at boiling water. So apparently the baggy food has to sit for about 10 minutes. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit back and relax then. I just realized though, um, I forgot to bring my fork. So while well, that's um, doing its thing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go around the tent and see what's suitable um, to eat this with. I'm thinking maybe just use this jet boil lid. I don't know if that will do the job. Um, but it's probably my best option to now. Kinda annoyed with myself, like. But hey, oh, we've all forgot stuff at some point. It's nothing serious, so it's just gonna be a minor problem. I'll get it eaten anyway. Well, I'm going to stick to wayfarer meals. Uh, I never really enjoyed that, to be honest. It wasn't just the fact that I forgot a fork and I had to eat with a jet boil lid. Um, I never really tasted, tasted to my cup of tea anyway. Uh, obviously, people must like them, but for me, nah, I'm going to stick to wayfarer meals. 
as you can see, the sky's been this beautiful orange colour. The side lights are starting to come on too, which is really nice. It's just a couple of minutes to seven now. It'll probably be pitch black in the next half an hour. And my favourite radio show's coming on soon. So yeah, I'm just going to sit back, chill out, listen to that. Uh, I'm hoping the weather is quite nice. It's quite clear skies. Um, too close to Edinburgh to do nighttime photography though. Uh, it'll not be dark enough. So, yeah, that's what this camp's all about tonight. Just relaxing. Tried out a couple of new things. I'll show you that wind meter tomorrow, I think. Losing a bit of daylight. So, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll update you later on tonight. Um, but, yeah, I'm just going to chill out and listen to the radio for a bit. So, that's the evening came to an end now. Um, it's been quite a good evening in the tent, just listening to the radio. Occasionally, I look outside the tent over Edinburgh, it's absolutely beautiful from here uh, just watching Edinburgh light up at night I'm actually just about to jump out of the tent and take some nighttime photography uh, just to give you an idea of what it's like um, unfortunately the low light on this camera is not very good unless you use the night mode in the photos so that's what I'm about to do now anyway I'm going to sign off for the night after all it is after 10 and I'm going to get up at about half past five tomorrow it'll still be dark but that's the time i want to get up it we're due about a bit of rain tonight as well about one in the morning so whether or not it comes we'll see so yeah anyway i'll see you all in the morning good night Good morning everyone. So it's quite a breezy morning. I'd say the wind's still the same for last night though. It's starting to brighten up outside as you can probably see the now. It's about half past seven so I've uh, started packing my gear away. I just need to take the tent down really and organise things in the backpack. Quite a miserable camp to be honest. I've been in the tent most of it, listening to the radio. It's kind of like that in the winter though with the dark nights. So, I did attempt some f photography of the city. Um, it was alright actually. Um, I might show you a clip right now just to give you an idea of what it's like at night time in Edinburgh. Or on this hill looking over Edinburgh. Um, it's absolutely beautiful, just seeing the whole city from here. Anyway, I'm going to start packing my gear away now. I'm going to quickly show you that wind meter that I was talking about earlier as well. And uh, yeah, I want to be kind of heading off the hill in the next hour. Uh, back to the car for about 10 o'clock. Certainly back home by lunch. That's that's the plan anyway. So yeah, better get cracked on. So this is the wind meter that I was talking about. It just tells you the wind speed and temperature. So right now it's 6.6 .6 degrees inside the tent. As soon as I stick the wind meter out, it goes down to about 4 degrees, um, so it seems quite accurate. And the highest wind speed I recorded last night was only about 10 mile an hour. So sometimes the wind actually seems worse than what it actually is from inside the tent. So, yeah, it looks it looks quite good, like, um, it's quite light, it's quite compact. The length of uh, a finger, so it's, 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 it's pretty decent, like. Um, and I only paid about £10 for it, so yeah, definitely worth the money. So you might want to excuse the, the audio, it's still quite breezy this morning. As you can see, the tent's still up and now, but everything inside the tent's packed away. So, there's the view of Edinburgh again. It's the whole reason why I came up here, was to, to see Edinburgh light up at night. So, it was really nice. The sea in the distance as well, you can see some of the boats. Um, it made for a really nice nice view. Uh, when it was night time the boats were all lit up and you could just see lights dotted around in the sea. Right, I'm going to get the tent down now and uh, yeah, I'll see you once I've got the tent down.
that's the hill behind me that I camped on last night. Got Castle all over there, just up there. And then all your main hills in the Pentlands are right behind me. So you start off with Turnhouse Hill, Ganefe Hill, Skull Law. You usually find they're both in the cloud. And then you've got East and West Cap in the back. You've got Black Hill, that was the first ever hill I climbed in the Pentlands. In front of that you've got Bells Hill and Harbour Hill. And then up there, the next hill I'm going to walk up is Cape Law Hill. So I'm just taking the chance to get a bit of shelter from the, the wind. Uh, all morning and all night I've been in the wind. I packed away the tent in the wind. It was just brutal, so it's quite nice just to sit back, relax, and uh, yeah, just have a wee five minutes before I start climbing Cape Law Hill. Right folks, so that's me back on the path now. I've completely left all the hills. The sun's finally came out. It's about time, eh? It's a bit late though. See, I'm going to wrap up the video here uh, because I'm getting quite close to the car park and it's quite a busy path here. And uh, yeah, just want to get back with. So, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And yeah, until the next video, camp safe.